January 6th, I proudly stood with President Trump in the fight against voter fraud. Why President Trump endorses me and why Mitch McConnell opposes us. I'm Mo Brooks, and you better believe I approve this message. You better believe he approves that message. You know who doesn't approve that message? Donald Trump, who has retracted his endorsement of Mo Brooks, which is perhaps why Mo Brooks put out that video in the first place. Now that video was put out on March 17th, and it comes, it came literally within a day of Trump criticizing Mo Brooks over his comments on January 6th. And it felt at the time like Mo Brooks was doing one of two things, either trying to desperately get back in the good graces of Trump by making an ad where he talks about how awesome he is and everything, or getting in one last big campaign ad where he can say he's been endorsed before it gets pulled, which is exactly what happened. Now, back in August, Representative Brooks told a Trump rally crowd to stop focusing on the disputed 2020 election results. Put it behind you, look forward. And he was booed for that because they're not looking forward. This is grievance politics, buddy. Mo Brooks, do you not know what party you're running in? And so just was it today, this morning, Trump put out this statement. There's a couple of interesting things in here that might not be immediately apparent. So let's break it down. He says, Mo Brooks of Alabama made a horrible mistake recently when he went woke and stated referring to the 2020 presidential election scam. Put that behind you, put that behind you. Despite the fact that the election was rife with fraud and irregularities. If we forget, the radical left Democrats will continue to cheat and steal elections. Just look at all this stuff. So he's woke, Mo Brooks. Because he said, can we focus on the election we're actually in rather than the one that's not gonna be overturned? That's all it takes to be woke. But he goes on to say, when I endorsed Mo Brooks, he took a 44 point lead and was unstoppable. It was all due to me, that's it, there's nothing else. Just 44 points off of me. Uh, he then hired new campaign staff who brilliantly convinced him to stop talking about 2020. He listened to them. Then according to the polls, his lead totally evaporated based on the statement. Come on, like seriously, you think that's the only thing that influenced a 44 point swing in election? Nobody actually thinks that. But anyway, this is all important and Brett, I want your thoughts on it. I don't wanna miss though that in that previous statement, he said it was all rigged, but we've made big progress that has been made that will help us in 2022 and 24. What Trump is saying there is, they have put people in positions of power and authority that will help them to steal the election. He might be wrong, they might not actually be able to do that, but that is the plan and he seems enthusiastic about their support so far. What do you think about it? This is amazing. This is a, it, it, if you take individual names out of it and you just look at the dynamic at play, it is a party boss. It is as yeah. much, you know, the dailies in Chicago as it is Donald Trump today. Like it is exactly someone with power using it. There is something I saw recently, I, I'm follow up on it, but it, I believed it when I saw it. That Donald Trump has more money in his coffers than the yeah. Republican Party and the Democratic Party. Together. Because, together. Yeah. Because he knows how to drive people to, to um, you know, toss their money at something. He doesn't care about the people once they do it. And it's all in the service of him. And this about face by Donald Trump is in keeping with that. What's shocking to me and what I think Mo Brooks himself didn't calculate is how little it takes to piss off Donald Trump. And yes, you can say pissed off on this show, thank God. You just oh, nice. can't change it to on afterward. Um, Careful. Literally the rule, but um, but yeah, so you how little it takes for him to flip and freak out and w rescind his endorsement. Now, the narrowing of polling as time passes and it goes from, well, the only name I know is Mo Brooks to I've also heard there's other people in here is bound to happen. It always happens. And Donald Trump is over claiming this. Like he just like, you know, like he like he's in the oppression Olympics and he just nailed the dismount. Yeah, absolutely ridiculous. Like, like it, the, you nailed it with the party boss thing. I mean, that that is that is effectively what this is, and it is it, it, that's an, an invocation of something that that existed for a very long time, including on the Democratic side. We just haven't really experienced it in our life, really. Like what? Maybe with Reagan, I don't even know to the extent that he exercised that power, but in theory, I guess he had it. But George H. W. Bush, Bill Clinton, a little bit back when he was president, but obviously there's some complications there. 
but George W didn't have this power. Obama's influential, but nobody has such a unilateral 100% control over their party like Donald Trump does. And it, like it's it's a little bit of schadenfreude to see people like Mo, Mo Brooks run afoul of it because he has been so enthusiastic of this. He never questioned Donald Trump being like the kingmaker in the Republican Party. And so when he just deviates a tiny little bit, he gets tossed to the curb. Yes. And he says really fast, he says that he's staying in the Senate race despite this, according to a source close to the, the, the congressman. Trump says he's going to uh, do another uh, capital E endorsement soon. Apparently met with Army veteran Mike Durant. How hilarious would it be if that guy won? I don't necessarily even think that that's what's gonna happen. Cause like I've been saying throughout this, I don't think that Trump's endorsement is worth 40 points or anything. But, but to see Mo Brooks who called himself MAGA Mo, and who, by the way, if we can run to this last graphic, had endorsed by President Trump in his actual name on Twitter, past the endorsement being taken away. Like that is a level of commitment. He just got politically cucked. Final thoughts, Brett. Now it says proven conservative, fearless fighter, candidate for US Senator of Alabama. It just says proven Mo something. Brooks. It proven doesn't something. have, he took it down. <laughs> He Good, finally. To. Okay. Um, watching Donald Trump interact with the people in his party is like watching one of those time traveler movies like Kid in King Arthur's Court, where everybody's like, I am shocked that I cannot speak like this and you speak so differently from me. And he just kind of moves around doing all these like capers and tricks. Um, people that are like, no, this is how we are supposed to be. And someone else just isn't bound by those rules because they have a different experience and they didn't grow up or rise to power in that same. Um, hierarchy or you know they didn't follow that same path For more political news breakdowns interviews stories of activism and me trying my hardest to care about the occasional big celebrity news story subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com/the damage report and you can ring the bell wherever it is so you don't miss anything